as you can see, I, I do work with mannequins. And the nice thing about working with mannequins is that they, they can hold a pose for a long, long time. <laughs> <laughs> I used to jump around the models a lot, you know, I was the pure torture. And um, in the last uh, oh, 12 years, this is all I've worked with is mannequins. I work alone. And um, the nice thing also is that you don't have to sp order special lunches for them. <laughs> And the, they don't talk back, and uh, and so it's uh, it's a I'm there all by myself, and I always thought that if I did this project, and it's been on in my mind since way back, um, that I I would have a little trouble with not having all the people that are around me that create this thing. There, all of us we feel that for the end product of this, they all contribute tremendously. To, and that's the hair and the makeup and the, and the model themselves. And that's the final thing. And uh, so I, I'm the main man here. And I have to really kind of do a lot of research. And I have a lot of research material that's in the studio. I have women's wear from the 20s. And I have uh, uh, catalogs from the 20s. And I have uh, fashion magazines of all kinds. Uh, and. Uh, so I'm constantly referring to them and trying to remind myself because I have to select. I have to when I when I shoot a, uh, a garment, I have to sort of identify it, identify it as the very year that they, that was probably worn before I accessorize it, because from the beginning of the 20s to the, to the late part of the 20s, the fashion changed tremendously, and. Uh, so anyway, you see here the, the results of it. And um, this is the concept of the book. It's, um, here you're seeing a, a spread. And this allows you a panoramic view of one dress and a close-up view of all the accessories that she would have wearing this dress. And um, you also, there's a lot of information here, but you have to kind of appreciate it after you've looked at it for a while, but there's three angles on a hat. And a hat has many dimensions, and so I take the opportunity to, uh, to show that if I can. It shows a close-up of the handbag that she would be wearing. And also, this dress is an extremely rare dress, and I dated it at about 1928, maybe 1929. I know that it's 20s because the belt loops were set low. And this has a zipper closing, which is really very interesting. A zipper closing on the diagonal pockets on each hip, and a zipper on the cuff of each arm. So uh, this is truly a, a wonderful discovery for the 1920s, because it wasn't until the 1930s that the zipper became a quite a prominent accessory for fashion. When I first started this project, um, I tried shooting the images, the, the fashions, on a live model. But I decided that it wouldn't work out very well because uh, it required a makeup person and a hairdresser. And uh, even though I have great respect for their talents, if I was going to do this project in my retirement years, I would probably not want to. Uh, have act, I probably wouldn't have access to this, and I didn't want to spend the time in the dressing room. Um, and even though I spend maybe, I've spent as long as two weeks on one garment. And um, so that's one good thing about using mannequins. But this is Nicole Hood, who was a, uh, a model at that time. And uh, this you can appreciate in the 20s, you know, they didn't have color uh, film. and. Uh, Everything was illustrated pretty much, and what black and white existed was in, in the fashion magazines, it was highly diffused, and, and a lot of the, the, the fashion that they chose were very high-end party dresses and things like that. And um, in this book, I wanted to show uh, evening things as well as everyday life things, um, retail market. I, I have. I have pictures, I have a whole spread on just 
what they called porch dresses. And uh, my mother called them house dresses. But they're, uh, they're all gingham. And the spread allows you to see from 1920 to 1929. And you can see the hemlines on all of these things. And uh, it's just very interesting. And that's what I wanted to convey in this uh, book was panoramic spreads all in a theme so that when you look at the page, it's a real education. And it's been a real education for me just doing this project. And so uh, when I first started, uh, this shows the mannequins uh, newly purchased. They're Adele Rootstein mannequins. And they were manufactured in London, but they had a store in New York also. And I, I like them because they, they had a little sense of a captured moment, you know. So I, I thought, well, this is a good start. But when I bought them, here, the, here I am, this is 1978, and um, I realized that the, uh, the heads were too small to accommodate uh, a cloche hat. And also the feet were too big. So uh, I set to work. I had found a, uh, a, an authentic bust from uh, a hat display head. Uh, that w and I had looked at it in a store window for a long, long time. And I asked the dealer if he would be willing to sell it, because I had this project in mind. And when he closed his shop, I asked him again. And he, he said, sure. So here I was. I was with this um, authentic 20s hat bust, and uh, I had it reproduced in the fiberglass. And uh, I had, by this time, 23 mannequins. And so I had to uh, find somebody to attach these heads. And um, when the head, and then I went to work on the feet, and I scaled them down to where they would fit the 20 shoes, which were not, were, didn't have as high a heel and were, the, the foot size of most shoes that I had was very small. And so uh, it worked out very well.